Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Red 5 Reviews. Today's episode will be a book review for Star Wars Shadows of the Empire by Steve Perry. This book was originally published back in 1996 by Bantam and had a uh, multimedia success as there was a, a video game, a soundtrack, and even a graphic novel also released uh, revolving around this story. This will be a spoiler-free review, but with that said, let's do this. The story takes place just shortly after the events of The Empire Strikes Back. Leia, Chewie, and Lando are still searching for Han Solo's carbonite frozen body and hire a smuggler named Dash Rendar, who was both present at the Battle of Hoth and captain of the ship known as the Outrider to track down Boba Fett's starship as he is still holding Han Solo prisoner for Jabba the Hutt. Luke Skywalker returns to his homeworld on Tatooine to continue his Jedi training and to rebuild a new lightsaber after his blue one was lost, as with his right hand, after being defeated by Darth Vader on Cloud City. But Luke is not safe, as Prince Caesar, leader of the criminal organization known as Black Sun, is attempting to have Luke killed and Vader blamed for Luke's death as he recently learned of Vader's relationship to Luke Skywalker. As mentioned in a previous video, Shadows of the Empire was the very first expanded universe novel I ever read. I actually didn't know when I originally read it that it had such a big reception. I did know of the video game, but I didn't know that there was a soundtrack or even a comic series. I mostly read this book because it was highly recommended by my older brother. I thought it was good and I enjoyed it, but was I completely blown away by it? Honestly, not really, but I do consider the book to be an essential read if you'd like to read and collect the Expanded Universe novels. I really liked how it all flowed to where we got into Return of the Jedi, and I did like that we got some insight into what our heroes have been doing during the year in between films. And the book does answer some questions you may have had, like when, where, and how did Luke build his green lightsaber, and how and where did he continue to train in the ways of the Jedi to get as strong as he was in Episode Six. And did Leia and the others attempt to save Han Solo before, or did they just wait until their rescue at Jabba's palace? I also like seeing Vader have some competition for the Emperor's favor. I have heard and read that there has been others that have wanted to win the Emperor's favor and possibly surpass Vader, but this was my first introduction into that concept. The competition between Vader and Prince Caesar was entertaining, but a little anticlimactic, as we know that Vader will be the victor since Return of the Jedi follows this book. If I were to describe this book in one word, it would be... interesting. There's a few occasions where things get a little steamy for the most part, as Prince Caesar uses his alien pheromone to attempt to seduce Leia. Not to spoil much, but of course she overcomes his attempts. But I definitely wasn't expecting something like that to happen. But I did think it was funny that I came across that in my first Legends novel. As for my rating, I'm going to give Star Wars Shadows of the Empire by Steve Perry 3.5 out of 5 stars. Again, I wasn't blown away by this book, but I did like it and I do consider it an essential expanded universe material. But what do you guys think? Did you read it? If so, what did you think? Either way, leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be interested to check them out. And if you haven't read it yet, are you planning to or maybe not? Thanks as always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, and be sure to consider subscribing if you're new to my channel and are enjoying my Star Wars content and would like to be updated when I post more videos. Be sure to stay tuned as I'll be posting my review for Book 1 of the Dark Lord Trilogy in a couple of days, Labyrinth of Evil by James Luceno. But until then, this is Red 5, standing by.